All right. Second match of today. It's going to be a best of three between a off racing Terran and a Zerg. Starting in the bottom right side of Golden Aura, we have none other than GDA teams Aztecs as our teal Terran. Going up against CSO Esports as Bali as our yellow Zerg, the grinder. The all, I'd say the, the most respected player in my eyes. One of them, one of them, okay. Well, I, I'm not going to be um, all, you know, all about kissing uh, rear ends and whatnot. But I really respect Bali. Like, that's, that's not a, that's not a secret. Like, uh, I, a lot of times, a lot of times is actually just me, you know, showing him the, uh, the utmost respect by even calling him sir or something like that, you know? <laughs> and it's like, okay, kind sir, you ready to play our series? Even when I meet him on, on ladder, I'm like, after that, I'm like, you know, talking about uh, strategy and whatnot. We even signed up as an Archon team to the Hungarian Pro Series Archon Tournament. So I also look forward to that with Bully. Actually, now that I think about it, I have no freaking idea when that is going to continue. As the first round was quite interesting. And there were three teams, first two advanced, and we were the highest MMR, so we automatically got a buy. <laughs> <laughs> Strange weight. <laughs> Spell earned. <laughs> oh, good one, Samo. Anyways, look at what we have here. Astex is not playing around for too long. He's going to go for three Rax Reaper from home. And that might actually cause a couple of issues for Bolly. Bolly will actually scout that there's two depots here. I didn't scout that this is not a... Oh, all three Raxes are basically in the front. So... What you can do as a Terran player is that you just place the depot here, right? And then you just place the third barracks like here. Okay. Wait, was that a Reaper falling? No. Okay. All right, but we add a bit of damage onto that Reaper. And this kind of is, as far as I know, uh, so... 3x uh, 3x reaper is basically uh designed to to kill the third hatchery i believe but let's see how far he's going to uh, go i think the first one uh the first time i saw this was ps playing against i believe it was megabyte that was in hungarian pro series one or two like the season one or season two, if I'm not mistaken. And he was playing uh, even like with plus one, plus one, you know, going up to like five racks and then eight racks, if I recall correctly. And it was all Reapers, like Reapers all the way. And Megabyte had a no chill whatsoever. Was they 12 Zergs, 12 uh, Reapers? Yeah. Uh, PS uses uh, two racks, yes, but he used uh, this build, I think, once, like only once. I think he used it a, a single time. And then he was telling me that... Uh, that he's not really using this build. Oh my god, no, Aztecs, what is this? Oh, grenades are actually not that bad. Oh, but it's gonna lose more or less all of the Reapers. Seven Reapers go down for 20 links, which is honestly quite uh, quite worth it. Because now Astex is building another command center, yes, but there's three hatcheries here. And we have four queens, so queens can actually help out here. Oh, could be a nice around here. Okay, by the looks of it. Okay, but yeah, it's gonna one-shot stuff instantly with seven Reapers. No issues there. If he actually manages and he's lucky, he can actually, like, kill two links, uh, almost, almost two links at once. <laughs> and now he's saying, careful, <laughs> I beat a Protoss, I get micro. <laughs> well, Aztecs, sorry to say it, but he lost almost the same amount of Reapers that you have right now. So, that's a bit of an issue. Okay, now you lost all the Reapers that you have right now. All the same amount. 
Okay, well, I'm not exactly sure what's happening here. <laughs> now he's saying that he spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's having a bit of a, a bit of fun here. I mean, probably he's just, you know, playing Terran out of uh, whatever fun that he wants, he wants to do it for. Uh, probably he's not going to take it extremely seriously. Wait, is that a gap, by the way? Is that a gap or is that not a gap? That looks like a gap to me, honestly. Uh, it looks like a gap where Zerglings and nowadays workers can actually fit through. But he's going for that beautiful fourth hatchery. Ooh, and Hydras. Now, I'm not sure how good Hydras are going to be, especially without any kind of uh, upgrades on them. So, if he can actually hold off uh, the turn until upgrades come in, and upgrades kick in, then he's going to be in a super decent position. Hydras are going to just basically chew through everything and he probably will have a a timing window where he's going to be able to to push through and just you know deal a killing blow Asics is going for that third command center and we have a starport as well on top of a tech lab so uh i'm curious if he's going to go for a fusion core as well if he goes for a fusion core then hats off to him because he's playing the the biggest meme on top of the one of the biggest memes. Oh, once again, he's trying to fight on creep and he's gonna get surrounded. Maybe he can actually run into the main, but no, Bully is actually perfect on the surround. He's doing it in a perfect way. And Astex is actually just grenading the links into his demise. Two more Reapers will show up and that's gonna be another 100 casts down the drain. Astex is trying to get through but is not going to be able to do anything. 39 links remaining. So far 37 went down and 26 Reapers. And we have a beautiful Lurker then. So we're gonna have uh, Lair Tech Lurkers most likely. Which I am not 100% against uh, because the Terran's economy is going to be worse <laughs> worse worse than ever i'd say and on top of that let's be honest uh the tech is gonna be crazy bad as well so links are going to try and scout around gonna look for a a proxy base most likely it's not trusting Astex to to play clean trying to keep him honest uh, this is a lot of fun this is a lot of fun here because uh, the game is pure chaos or well, more or less was chaos oh that's nice ov speed has finished and by the looks of it body is going to just park this overlord over here now liberator will come in oh my god this is like you know let me just go an extra mile for those uh you know for that quarter mile let me just do that quarter mile uh, race like two miles away. Two miles further. All right. Let's see if Asex has the micro here. It's going to try to save the lib. It's nicely done there by Asex. So he's trying to showcase uh, what he can do with his Terran. But Bali is actually ready for everything. Uh, I might lose like two more drones. Okay, it's going to lose two more drones. It's not that bad for a Liberator. But honestly, at this point, 26 Reapers and the Liberator. Uh, even despite uh, seeing the same, same amount of resources lost. This is not, not a, a equal game. Unless Bali is actually going to fall asleep on the job. That could very well be uh, the case here. As we have no upgrades, we have evil chambers. No evil chambers yet for Bali, which could be a mistake. Uh, infestation pit is going to come uh, in a bit late. Fifth base already out. We have uh, six hatcheries in total. And I wouldn't mind even a seventh, I think, at this point. Sorry about that. Uh, I think it would be still fine. Third base is starting to mine. We have... Ooh, six mules dropped do we have any energy left we should have any should have more energy left right okay he's going to see a bunch of bailings honestly i think he could have just let the bailings finish there and just kill uh aztecs over here because aztecs has a couple of hellbats and that's pretty much it that's a single tank 
that's not going to do too much. Okay, I'm trying to figure out... Oh, Liberator once again. I want to say. By the looks of it, it's the Liberator. Spine crawlers are being morphed. Do we have any Liberators left somewhere? So this is looking a tad bit better for Aztecs, so to say. Uh, he sniped an Overseer, so, so he also killed three Queens and he killed 16 workers so far. The bad thing for Bali is that he didn't kill any any workers uh, on the side of Aztecs, uh, despite having somewhat uh, open space to go through. He's gonna try to push through in two separate locations. Uh, if he pushes up now, oh, he's gonna go right into the tanks. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Bailing's rolling through. And he's gonna try to split them to his best ability. Tanks are gonna try to DPS as much as possible. The Marines in the back are getting split by Aztecs, but is that gonna be enough? By the looks of it, Bali is actually pushing through. And Aztecs needs to lift this. He's gonna lose his command center and the SCVs as well, for sure. The SCVs are being pulled. Okay, never mind. A couple of Marines left with a super low HP medevac. But only a couple of Hydras here. If he could manage to take down the tank, it would be quite nice. And now he can just try to take down the Medivac, potentially. One Medivac less of healing could mean the whole world in this trade. But that's not going to be the case. So in the meantime, we had a bit of uh, action here with some drops. As Aztecs managed to, managed to snipe 7 drones, but Bali managed to snipe 14 SCVs. And right now... It is Aztecs who couldn't afford to lose any workers. Okay, Bolly is going to go forward and just take that uh, six base. Six base Zerg is quite scary, so to say, especially on Hive tech. Oh, Hive is just now starting, so a bit of a blunder here on the side of Bolly. And it's going to go for plus one, plus one. Uh, melee and missile and he's gonna move forward and he's gonna snipe a lot of mules these are fresh mules this is quite nice on the side of Bali. let's see if he has enough Essex is simming forward he's gonna try to actually help out Bailing's not even connecting so these Bailing's can actually go through and just deal some damage to these marines a lot of the marines are actually falling but Bali needs to back off he has two tanks to worry about third tank is coming out so he's going to uh, try his best to just keep Aztecs on uh, two bases, one and a half bases actually. Wow, this is actually, it's one base, barely one base. <laughs> okay, this is looking quite nice, honestly. <laughs> okay, ghosts enter the fray. And we're gonna have personal cloak researched. Uh, I want to see nukes. I think one of the the ways Aztecs can come back into this is nukes. I don't see uh, any other way here. Maybe a massive nuke, but I think it's too long to research a nuke, right? That it doesn't have the money. So, yeah, it's not looking great. Asics is going to try, most likely. He's not the type to, to actually just give up all, all like that, you know. But he has only 47 workers versus the 90 of Bali. Almost double the worker count. And let's not even talk about the, the army count. As Bali is moving forward, he's going to just mow down a lot of those. Oh my god. This is wild. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh... Wait, was that? Oh my god. Okay, we're going to take a look at this. I want to I want to take a look at this. So wait, can we No, we cannot go back. Wait, we can go back, right? No, we cannot go back. No. Okay, well, it is what it is. I wanted to see if the ghost died to the tank fire. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. <laughs> but I guess we couldn't actually see it because we did not host the replay. 
Okay, so 1-0 for our Zerg player, Bali. We are waiting for the next one. Amphion, 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 Amphion. What is your opinion on Amphion? Beautiful Mousy fam. What is your opinion on Amphion? Whoever has an opinion, let me know. I'm curious. As we are curious if our yellow Zerg in the bottom left side can actually pull a 2 0 against his opponent. He played very nicely, he just held whatever. BS was thrown at him. This is CSV Sports' Bali. And his opponent. As our Teal Terran player. For Team GDA, it is Aztecs. Off racing as his Terran pool. And Aztecs was asking that this is. Uh, that was the, the warm up game, so. This is the first official map, right? <laughs> and Bali was saying, right, so. See, instinctively, that's why I didn't put the 1-0 the there. <laughs> okay, so... We have a gas first. Is this gonna be the body build? Gas hatch pool. Oh wait, gas pool hatch, never mind. So gas pool hatch coming up from, from body. This could be fast layer, most likely. That's what I, I would bank on. Could be a bailing bust, but also could be two base muta with a safe opener. Could be two base roach. Could it be the bailing bust? Could be a nidus link drop. There's a lot of options here. Uh, so I like this type of opener because it keeps me guessing as a caster, which I am not against at all. Now, the only question remains, is Aztec's gonna manage to, to scout this? He's gonna have a Reaper, so... He's gonna probably manage to do so. Oh, Reaper into Reactor, so a bit of a greedy move here. As we have four links moving across the map. I don't think he scouted with the SCV, right? Nope, and the Reaper will dodge this whole, uh, whole place, and this SCV is going to fall. As this reactor is not going to be uh, done, like no, not even close. So Bali went for only four links. That means he could afford an extra drone, could afford uh, some extra money. And I'm quite curious. So we have another queen and we're going to go up to three queens. SCVs are being pulled. Is going to try to actually deal with these links. But this is quite nice on the side of Bali. He's going to delay that uh, expansion. And delaying the expansion. Ooh, maybe even the Reaper. Okay, never mind. The Reaper will get micro back to the high ground. And by the looks of it, this is going to get cleaned up. Nothing too fancy. Uh, delayed command center. That's going to be the, the only thing that will... Uh, be the result of this which is in itself super super nice in my opinion so imagine this you had your own expansion delayed because you went for a faster spawning pool and that means of course you are going to uh, make sure that you want you deal some kind of damage you want to like the best case scenario is dealing damage uh, like enough damage to actually uh, compensate for that delayed that delayed expansion okay in the meantime oh we have a bailing nest coming up so could just be a uh, safe pool first opener uh, no I don't think it's a just I think this was planned like 
there is a, a specific plan over here. So, bailing has completed, and I believe we're going to see bailings and some fireworks as well. Oh, there could be a lot of bailings though. Wait, what happened here? <laughs> the money has been spent on something. Trying to see what that is. Okay, third hatchery coming up for Bali. It's gonna scout with these links. Just to see if it's safe to actually morph bailings, just do something. I'm quite worried that I don't see the bailings that I was promised with this bailing nest, so. Yeah, this looks quite interesting, uh, to say the least. But there's a lot of links, so this looks like a link flood to me from this point on. Bali is not actually burning all this money on, on bailings. Probably is going to go for enough bailings to actually bust through the depot. And then a link flood is going to occur. Oh, that's a huge surround here. And if those Hellions cannot actually DPS down those links, then this is going to look like a tap out for Aztecs. Bali should just actually go on top of that ramp and just try to go for the depot. Potentially even the reactor. Oh, he's going to lose those bailings. Oh, he's going to force a repair over here. And a lift onto that uh, command center. Now, I'm not sure if Asex wants to to pull this command center away. I mean, you don't have to. There's nothing that can shoot up. Uh, buildings don't do air damage when they explode. So, nothing too fancy. Now, uh, the command center is even more vulnerable. So, that could be the case. And Asex is expecting another round of uh, bailings. And we have Hellions coming in. Third command center is done. So Asex, if he holds, is going to be in a, a decent position. Is Bali droning? No. 14 bailings on the way. Oh, 14. Oh, never mind. Seven more. But these are going... Oh, these are going to actually pop literally like at the same time. Oh, and they're not even going to go into a single line. That is beautiful. It could actually just destroy both depots and just go for the add-ons. There we go. It's going to probably lose uh, something here, right? Okay, he's going to go for the surround. But I think he could have just gone for the surround earlier when the bailings hit. A bit of an anti-timing here with Bali. Uh, just not going in for the kill when he had the chance when the chaos was huge. Liberator will come back with three kills. I had to pull body had to pull away the workers. Um, now in this moment, I'd say Ostex is still in a decent position, as there's no drones on the side of body. Twenty five on the side of Ostex, but he's gonna have those mules. So, yeah. <laughs> Just for giggles, I turned up my GPU fan to hundred percent. I could feel it pulling air across the room. <laughs> Well, is that a is that the forty ninety? Was it the forty ninety, Samuel? I know you got the new GPU, but for some reason I cannot remember if it was a forty ninety. Forty eighty. Oh yeah, the forty eighty super. I mean, that's already probably an overkill for for stuff like StarCraft. Do team games run nicely? That's the question. <laughs> Do team games and arcades <laughs> run run fast on that one? Does it get rid of like the uh, is that like what single core, dual core, whatever type of design that the game has? <sighs> okay, interesting positioning for that third command center. I wouldn't have placed it right there unless I I mined out everything. But I guess you can just drop the mules here. a okay, couple of links oh wait a second speed bailings coming in three scvs will fall not that much so asics is handling this quite nicely oh 5.2 uh, gigahertz cpu okay that explains a lot <laughs> Yeah, it's CPU bound. I mean, that's what I asked. Like, it, does it matter? Like, if you have like a super beefy uh, GPU, you know? I was I was curious about it. But hey, 
I'm actually happy that you you have the performance now. I remember you were so happy. <laughs> Fills me with joy as well. Not gonna lie. Okay, uh, we, uh, extra gases. Uh, do I like this? On fifty five workers, and we're going to to moot. Seven muters out, and I wouldn't actually go for more, for more than uh, than ten muters at once. But since Bolly's committing on to the plus one, I would suppose that he's gonna try and and do something regarding uh, that mass muter that he, we also all crave so much. Don't even lie, Malzi fam. I know you you guys crave that mass muter. You want to see the mass muter basically just give you gives you some eyegasm <laughs> how do games benefit more yeah obviously okay he's gonna move in he's gonna take down that cyclone as well now he can actually just go on the rampage here does Aztecs have anything here whatsoever Oh no, wait a second, he has two Cyclones, but those are across the map. Manchies are not going to do anything, Marines are across the map as well. This looks like a really, really interesting uh, base raid, so to say. 1920 SCVs are falling to those Muters, and now 9 drones as well, but already close to the 30s for the Terran, so... This is looking really, really tough uh, to call, to be honest. I'd say Bolly is on the winning side as this is a super small army for some muters but uh yeah it's going to be quite difficult to actually deal with this uh, if he can somehow get rid of the marines then even the banshees can go down without any issues whatsoever we're gonna have 46 scvs just hitting the deck single scv remaining and that single scv will not really do anything to be honest forward cyclones will pop out at home but that is not going to mean anything whatsoever. Bolly is just going to clean this up. And by the looks of it, Bolly is going to take the 2-0 despite Aztecs not tapping out just yet. It's going to try, but I'll be honest with you. Oh, he dropped the mule somewhere? I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. Well, we have no shift B, aka battle report. So, apparently there was a bailing that detonated into a mule. So it wasn't a BM mule by the looks of it. Oh, wait a second. This is Matt Cyclone. And this could be micro quite a lot. Let's see if he has anything to do with it. But yeah. Uh, nice attempt here by Aztecs. But he's going to have to tap out as Bolly will take a swift 2-0, our second 2-0 of the day.